Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and I'm here to help you pass your U.S. naturalization interview. Today I'm going to go over the official 100 civics questions in random order with the simplest answer to remember. Let's get started. First question. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He was a U.S. diplomat. Name one branch or part of the government. The president. Easy. What are two cabinet level positions? Attorney General and Vice President. I like to picture them around the president. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All the people of the state. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It announced our independence from Great Britain. It's kind of in the, in the question. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. They're next in line. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. When was the Constitution written? Are you good with dates? 1787. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. I'm not sure how to remember that, except for memorization, 435. <laughs> What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? 4th, July 4th, 1776. 
What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Remember, they need an odd number to cast a vote, so nine. Who was the president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. There were 13 original states. Name three. I like to do the new states. New York, New Hampshire, New Jersey. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Who is the governor of your state now? This will depend on where you live. We also have some links in the description if you need to look it up. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What is the capital of your state? This one will depend on what state you live in. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. Break time, stretch time. And just so you know, the civics questions are not the only thing you need to study for, for your interview. There's also the English reading and writing, and the most important thing, the N-400 application. So if you need some help, we offer live mock interviews to help you. So please check that out in our description. All right, let's get back to the questions. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day and Christmas, my favorite. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. We had a lot of wars, but either World War I, World War II. <laughs> Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? They're both L words. Life and liberty. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Try to remember lots of W's. World War I, Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> Name one U.S. territory. 
Puerto Rico. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. That's my coast. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He fought for civil rights. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen. To be loyal to the United States. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Money, money, money. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. Are you on that coast? Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president, again. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six years. What is one important thing Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. All right, let's take a little break, stretch, move around. How are you doing? Is it easy? I hope so. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the questions. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 
Who vetoes bills? The president. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Have you ever been? What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Mississippi River. That one's so fun to say and spell. Mississippi. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To give a driver's license. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Name your U.S. representative. This one depends on where you live and make sure to check it that you got the right one because it depends on your actual address. We have a link in the description if you need help. In what month do we vote for president? November. That's always our election month and it's also near Thanksgiving. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Italy, and Germany. I like to remember it as JIG. J-I-G. Japan, Italy, and Germany. Who was the first president? George Washington, the father of our country. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Everyone wants freedom. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Two for each state. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The Civil Rights Movement. And don't confuse that with the Civil War. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. 
crow, like the bird. What is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? This will depend on which state you live in, so make sure to look it up and we have a link in the description. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Name one right only for United States citizens. To vote in a federal election. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. So it goes two, four, six. Two for the House of Representatives, four for President, and six for Senator. All right, almost done. The home stretch. How many have you gotten right? 100%? Maybe 95%? All right, let's finish it up. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To vote in a federal election. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. 
pretty easy. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for women's rights. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? They can vote or they can run for office. All right, and I'd like to include a bonus question, just in case the officer could ask you this. It's not a part of the official 100, but do you know this? What is the form of government of the United States? Republic. All right, that's it. How did you do? Did you get them all right? Let me know, leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Good luck studying. Bye.